Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Several videos ago, I uh, said that I wasn't going to do any more videos on this certain item that I have here. But, as long as these manufacturers keep putting out ones that are, I think are pretty cool, I'm going to keep on buying them and showing you what I find. This is the Husky brand Small Parts Organizer. Let's go over this one and I'm going to show you why this one's a little bit different than the other ones that I have. I do appreciate you watching. This is the Husky double sided organizing, whatever this is in Spanish, model number 1001402. 304. As with all Husky items, this is built to last. This is a nice strong container. Uh, let's see here. Heavy duty impact resistant construction. Transparent fronts for easy content recogni excuse me, recognition. Eight removable bins on one side and Customi customizable compartments on the other. There we go. Uh, let me find a tape measure and I'll be right back and we'll measure this thing up. Sorry about that. I should have already had this tape measure near me, but it was in the other room. So let's go ahead and measure this up. Let's see, this way we have a total of 15 and one half inches. This way we have a total of, I'm just going to call that 13 inches. And deep, we're going to call this a total of six and a half inches. So let's go back to this side. Let me show you why I like this. I'm going to turn this sideways. At the top, nice metal clasp. Very nice. There we go. And on this side, nice hinges. This side has one, two, three, four, and this side has four. Now you see they're kind of offset a little bit from each other. Okay, when you open it, let's see here, there we go. The top goes all the way back. It doesn't stop right here or right here, so it could accidentally fall on your hands. It does go all the way back. And, let's go back this way. Here are the customizable depart compartments. They are pretty deep. I'll put a tape measure in there in just a second. You have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 on this size. Well, 17 on this size. These are a weird shape because of the handle cut out. You have two of this and two on this side. Okay, let's see how deep these are. These are. Two and seven eighths inches deep, so that's a good size. Like I said, these are removable, so you can make these to any size that you need. And I'm going to put something in here just to test this out, and um, I'm sure you'll recognize what I have. Let me let me grab that, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, here we have a GoPro style camera. Now I did take the accessory pieces off the bottom. Let's see how this fits in this compartment. So let's go ahead and open this up. And it's, there you go, look at that. That's almost a perfect fit. Let me try another one I have back here. A different model. Here we go. 
this is a different model and this one's a little bit big but it will fit back here but it's a little bit taller than this one but it can be turned this way in fact it can almost fit in these compartments here but it can be turned this way and this top can be easily closed now that is a great feature there that is a great feature so let's go ahead and do this I have a couple more of these GoPro styles that will fit in there that one won't fit so it can go right here and I have one more that one will not fit so it can go on this side it's going to have to be turned this way so it will fit properly there we go let's see if that will all those fit now these are a tad bit tall a tad bit tall to fit in here you can force them to fit but the top of the case is going to be rounded over just a little bit but by doing that they won't rattle which is a good sign so We'll turn this sideways again like that one. There we go. So I like that. That's a very good feature. I'm just going to leave them in there for right now. You can hear those GoPro style cameras. They are not moving in there. Okay, let's check out this other side. We have these parts bins. We have, let's see here, let's just rearrange these to look like, to look like that, which they don't quite fit. Well, they don't fit. Now, you get six on one side and two on the other side. Now, as you see, you cannot rearrange these because the top won't close. So we're going to have to go back to the way it was, which is, um, I really don't remember how they were. <laughs> Let's just say, but I don't think that's a good feature where you cannot re rearrange these. But there is, it might be hard to see, but in here there's like little uh, recess where each one of these will, should fit in there properly without moving. So that's good. Because I sure did forget how they were supposed to fit in there. I would prefer it where they were interchangeable, where you could move them where you want them to be. But it is what it is. There we go. Now these compartments, uh, let's see here, this tape measure. They are kind of tapered down. So you are losing space that way. And you lose space from the edge so the bigger compartment or bigger container outside to outside it is three and seven eighths by four and seven eighths by two and seven eighths inch deep so that'll, that'll hold a lot of things and I'm sure these will hold the GoPro accessories or whatever whatever else you might want to put in here. So this is pretty nice container here. Pretty nice. I like it. Now, the reason I like this one, let me close this back up right here. I had my GoPro's accessories in this case, which I showed in an earlier video. And I do like this one a lot. And this one does separate from each other. I encourage you to check out that video. But I'm wondering, whoops, let me close this the right way. I'm wondering if it'll be more beneficial. To have one case that opens on each side instead of two cases that only open on the top. 
I'll have to think about this one for a little while longer. Now, you can see they are approximately the same size. What was the total height on this one? Uh, about six and a half. And this one is a little bit taller. This is six and three quarter. So it's pretty comparable. I do like this one a lot. I do like it an awful lot. And this is sold by Husky's competitor, Craftsman. And I bought this at Lowe's. And this one came from Home Depot, of course, being a Husky. So I think both of these would be sufficient for carrying your GoPro and accessories. Just a personal preference, what you might want. Either the two pack or the one single, whichever you prefer. This one might be easier to carry because it has one handle in the center. And when you carry this one, it's going to be a little offset when you carry it. But either way, I do like these. I do like them both. And I was going to give this away for Christmas, but I might just keep it myself. Time will tell. My name is Carl. Let me know if you have either one of these and what you think about it. Leave a comment in the section below and I do appreciate you watching.